Here are some examples of global versus local variables. It's important to remember that global versus local has to do with scope, meaning which other code can see a variable. Static versus dynamic in a variable declaration has to do with whether the variable value persists between separate subroutine calls or is reinitialized each time a procedure is called. In other words, whether a variable is declared as static in terms of persistence is not the same as whether it's global. The fact that the C programming language uses the keyword static to sometimes refer to scope and at other times refer to persistence makes things confusing, so here are some examples to help sort it out. A read-write global variable is defined outside of any procedure at the top level of language nesting. Here, gvar is defined as a 32-bit unsigned global. It has global visibility. That means that potentially any module in the system can read or write the value of gvar. gvar also has persistence, meaning that the initializer sets this variable to zero only at program startup one time. Any value in gvar is kept either until some module changes it explicitly or the program ends. Global variables have significant risks. They can be written from anywhere in your system, with multiple writers being even worse than a single writer. When you are debugging, it is common to have a problem with globals in that you cannot tell which module actually wrote an erroneous value. Globals can also be read from anywhere. That means that if you change the behavior of a procedure writing a value, and can take a lot of work to track down all the places other procedures read that value and can cause all sorts of bugs in unexpected places. In multi-threaded or multitasking programs, globals that are shared between two threads of control can cause race conditions. And this can happen even if they're properly protected by a mutex if you have logic errors. Finally, global variables increase code complexity. You can think of them as data flow spaghetti because they make it difficult or impossible to understand and follow how data is moving throughout the system. File static items are defined in the same way as globals, except they are preceded by the keyword static. For variables, this still means that they are initialized only at startup and that they have persistent values just like globals. However, the static keyword in this case reduces visibility, so modules outside that same .c file cannot see the variable. At the top level of the naming hierarchy, the static keyword works the same way for procedures. In both cases, anything inside the .c file can only be seen by other modules in that same .c file. If you're familiar with C++, this is sort of the same idea as the private keyword meaning that the definitions are private to code within that same .c file. An analogy is that using mostly file static variables is like building a city surrounded by rivers, a few bridges representing the globally accessible function calls to access information from the module are provided where required. But the file static variables are only visible once you get into the city. A third way to define variables is to define them local static. This involves first putting the variable declaration inside a procedure, and second, using the static prefix in front of that local variable definition. As you'll recall, variables defined inside procedures are only usable inside that procedure. What the static keyword does in this case is make sure that the value persists across multiple procedure calls. So in this example, the variable svar will only be initialized once at the start of the program and will be maintained in value across multiple calls of the procedure gproc. Again, svar is only visible inside gproc and other procedures will not be able to see it. Local static variables have the advantage of providing persistent values and also minimize scope so that only code in that procedure can see it. A local static variable is like having a single house in a city, and you have to enter the house before you can even see the variable. Most of the variables in your program should be non-static locals, 
and the static keyword should only be used on local variables if it's important for that variable to retain its value across multiple procedure calls.